the first drop tests of the Huawei Pura 70, specifically of the Pro and Ultra editions, have just been released. The Guaylab media outlet was tasked with conducting this test and did so using a special machine to release these devices in the best way possible and drop them onto different types of surfaces. In the initial tests, a fairly smooth surface was used. It is also worth noting that the protective films were removed to make the test as challenging as possible. So the first floor was very polished, had no relief of any kind, and therefore the impact on the screen was somewhat less intense. And they honestly threw this device again and again from different angles at different heights, and it really didn't sustain any significant damage upon hitting the floor. In fact, the Ultra model was also tested to see if the retractable camera was still functioning and this device demonstrated a tremendous level of durability. Actually, they elevated it to an extreme height where it's unlikely for the device to fall, and both persisted effectively. After passing this test, they modified the block utilized for the floor to a marginally rougher one. They repeated the test with different angles, and once again, this device demonstrated a tremendous level of durability. It does not seem to be impacting its performance at all. After every drop, they tested if it was still functioning, and everything was still functioning quite well with very slight marks on the sides indicating that the device had undergone some falls, but the screen stayed intact. It is important to remember that Huawei is introducing its Kunlun Glass 2 in this new device, and they claimed it would be twice as resistant to drops, and it seems they were right. Ultimately, in one of these incidents, the Ultra model experienced a minor fracture in the bottom left corner, but it was a fall from a significant altitude and yet the glass did not completely shatter, only slightly fracturing on this particular side that I am referring to, as I mentioned earlier. Furthermore, it is worth mentioning that it was not just a single drop, but they were throwing it with the screen facing down, with the bottom side down, with the top side down, and in many other ways. So. It was actually a lot of drops that were done to this device and it kept working just fine with this small fracture that I mentioned to you. If you can't identify it, remember that the white model is the ultra model and the black model is the pro model. But not only did they change the type of surface, but this first test on this type of surface was done from the highest point possible and in that fall, the Huawei Pura 70 Pro did not withstand it, so it ended up breaking on the back cover although the front cover surprisingly held up quite well. So it is confirmed that Huawei offers a very high level of durability in this device. Actually, there is another video testing the drop resistance of this device that is being circulated. In this case, they once again conduct various tests by dropping this cell phone, although it seems to be on a very smooth and polished floor. So they conduct several drop tests, and in none of them does the phone really get significantly damaged, even though these individuals were determined to break the device. They then threw it in the air as if it were a ball, and definitely, after that fall, the screen stopped responding, showing some fractures. However, the most interesting part is that the glass doesn't seem to have shattered completely, it just shows some fractures. Clearly, the screen stopped responding after these extreme falls, but it's worth noting that it was an excessively high drop. Since they were unable to break this glass, they desired to perform an even more extreme test. Following all of these drops, they positioned this device with the screen facing downwards on a concrete floor, drove a car over it, and ultimately succeeded in breaking the Kunlun glass too. Let's hope that Huawei will soon launch this device in the global market, as for now it can only be enjoyed within China.